a lot of the discussion has been, you know, re revolving around how the camera perspective works from an action and non-action based, you know, perspective, tab target versus action, right? There's a lot of discussion about, you know, what unifying that approach might look like or in continuing to offer, you know, two modes, um, how that's going to share across abilities. We've discussed in the past, giving players the opportunity to spec into more action-oriented skills versus tab targeting skills. There's some prototyping that actually I think is going to be explored here and we'll see how it pans out um, that allows for you know skills to have a, a dual purpose in that sense potentially uh, but on the flip side of that coin there's also um, the idea of of keeping to what is um, you know having skills be specifically in one domain or the other uh, but making sure that they they are they feel good between either mode that players might play with right that's that's going to be a big endeavor Okay, so that soundbite was huge. That was actually probably the most important thing that's come out of a live stream in a long, long time. I'm not going to talk about the whole live stream. I want to talk about has Intrepid done it 180 on tab combat. My name's Jalan. This is Ashes 101. You're probably not following this channel, so hit subscribe, ring the bell, and let's dive into this. Now, before we start, we have to have definitions of action and tab, and we're not going to argue about what those are. We're going to flash back to 2019, and we're going to listen to what Steven says action and tab are for Ashes of Creation. A tab targeted ability is something that you must have a target for. Um, so in order to utilize the skill, you must have a target for the skill. That's, that's I believe, what a tab uh, target uh, definition is. Uh, an action-oriented skill is anything that can be utilized uh, through placement of the player, whether that be placement on a reticle, placement on a ground, uh, templated directional placement, uh, those I consider skill-based skill, skill -based, um, action uh, skills. Okay, so previously we knew the direction Intrepid Studios was taking. Abilities were going to be tab, or they were going to be action. You were going to be limited to how many of each you could take. You could take 75% of one variety. You had to take 25% as the other variety. And then that was the understanding we had up until 2020. And then when Steven showcased the hybrid combat video, he dropped this on us. Now, we've said in the past that players will be able to allocate skill points into their active skills uh, that are more geared towards either action combat or tab targeting um, and you know as an example you can kind of see you know these skills can have additional points allocated to them to unlock further features some of them can be uh, tab to start and become action if you allocate additional additional uh, skill points and this is one of the ways that we kind of balance the skills between action and tab targeting um, you know requiring additional uh, skill points in order to unlock uh, certain um, uh, certain features of that skill uh, and then it becomes a tab or, or an action uh, type skill okay so the development started this was going to be a tab game then it was going to be a hybrid game then it was going to be abilities were tab or action. And then in 2020, we found out we could turn a tab ability into action or action into tab, depending on how many skill points we put into it. Now, just like magic on Friday, it sounds like Intrepid is prototyping technology or testing environments where the same ability is going to be action or tab. So this is going to take us a lot further away from a tab game. It's kind of going to put us in the realm of Guild Wars 2. Now, before we go any further, I want to ask a question. Is this a good thing? And so you don't get biased by my opinion. Go ahead and answer that question in the comments below. Pause the video, lock in your answer, and then hear what I have to say. So my answer is this, on paper, this is a great idea. Before I took my break, I had put out a video, who is the Ashes target audience? And I had talked about that the pure action combat players really aren't gonna be attracted to Ashes because they're not gonna wanna have to quibble over skill versus gear versus automatic waterfall stats. So yes, absolutely. If you can make this work, this is a, a big win for your company. Except the fact it's November of 2021. That makes this a horrible idea. 
The reason why it makes it a horrible idea is you're actually 23 months late. You said the game was going to be out before 2020. You were making progress with the game. And now it seems like you're really only in the 5 to 10% design phase. And you're still trying to figure out what you want your game to look like. Uh, a few months ago, before Jeffrey Bard departed for Skydance Interactive, he said with combat, they were still throwing things against the wall and seeing what sticks. Now, that is a perfectly valid way to go about doing things in year zero, year one, maybe year two, when you're trying to figure out where is your destination. The problem is, is this is development year five. And hearing that on Friday gave me a pause for concern. In fact, I actually, in my notebook, put, this is a big red flag. Because it would be fine if Intrepid was making these radical changes to combat if all the other systems in the game were done. On my list here, I have the races still aren't done. We haven't seen really the Renkai, the Vec, the Nakua, the Talnar creator. And the Talnar are going to be a massive undertaking due to the fact they're made with humanoid, mammal, and reptile sliders. The node systems aren't done. Caravans, the naval system, the raids, the dungeons, the social organizations, the religions, the PvP war rules, the PvP sieges, all of those things still need to be done before we get anywhere near launch. We also have to talk about that target audience. I showed some just graphical numbers that there's a segment of people who won't play the game if it's not action. But the further you move to an action-based game, the further away from tab purists you are. So I think we might have a problem here where Intrepid doesn't know who their target audience is and they're trying to please everyone. And I'm going to call this the New World and the Wildstar Dilemma. New World started off as a survival game, full loot drop, fort building. It was Ark without the dinosaurs and Seven Days to Die without the zombies. And then the community said that's not what we want. And New World tried to deliver a game that would please everybody. They ended up pleasing nobody. Wildstar had the same problems. The more people they tried to please, the less appealing the game was. And then Wildstar closed up the doors. They're not in business anymore. And what really gives me concern here is Steven has stood by this statement. And I've always said, like, our game's not going to be for everybody. And that's okay. <laughs> but now it seems that Intrepid is hardcore pursuing a hybrid-based system in order to be more appealing to action combat players. And I know the old guard, I know the tab enthusiasts, we don't want to admit this, but action is the way of the future. I just don't think it's the future of Ashes of Creation. Remember, Intrepid Studios doesn't have an infinite development timeline. Steven's resources are finite. Eventually, they have to release. And Ashes of Creation is also going to be butting heads on release time windows with Arc Age 2, which, regardless of your opinion to Kakao Games or XL Games and Jake's song, Arc Age 2 is going to be a major contender, a major competitor to Ashes of Creation because they both sort of uh, appeal to that open world PvP crowd. So that's one problem. The other problem is Intrepid seems to be going against things they said in the past. The plan was always to have a good hybrid system and fall back to tab. And now it seems like they're really pursuing an action combat game without all the other supporting pieces done. So I want to ask a couple of questions and feel free to go back and edit those comments you put in. Does this change in combat design at this developmental stage worry you? Do you think Intrepid has a plan for their combat? Do you think Intrepid has a, a, you know, some sort of plan for building this and all those other systems I mentioned and getting us to a release before 2025? Number two, will you play Ashes of Creation if it's tab only or tab enhanced? If they stick to certain abilities or tab, certain abilities or action, and a little bit of flexibility to change some of those abilities with skill point investment. Number three, will you play Ashes of Creation if it turns into a pure hybrid game with abilities being both action and tab, which takes us away from the original design pillars in 2019 and, and earlier? And with that said, guys, that is it. I'm trying a different style for these videos. Uh, there's lots of other good content creators who can give you a rehash of the whole live stream. I wanted to key in on that one focus and focus on that one thing because I think that 
soundbite is the most important thing we've heard in 2020. If you want to talk about this, I am live on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, I also want to let you guys know I have launched a, a DMCA free, copyright free music label. You can find that in the description below. All sorts of stuff that you can enjoy, especially the Christmas album. Uh, go check that out. You're really going to enjoy it. And with that said, I will see you next time when we have something Ash as a creation to discuss.